It's a day the 27-year-old former UBC student and football player will never forget. I thought I was going to get, like, beaten to death. He can't be named or identified due to a publication ban, but today he's speaking out about what happened. When I saw a couple of spills of blood drop, and I, I knew, first of all, that these cops weren't, they weren't trying to help me. I got punched in the mouth originally, and that's when I knew, like, this is a fight-or-flight situation. There's going to be danger. It all started here at the Rupert Street SkyTrain station in 2011. The victim, who was 22 years old at the time, was inside a fair-paid zone, but decided to leave to go meet a friend. That's when the transit police approached him and asked him what he was doing and what his name was. But they weren't convinced. He gave them his real name. One thing leads to another. They're trying to arrest me for no real reason at all. I even I even said I'll pay the ticket. Just I'll do that, and you can let me go. But they weren't having any of it. That's when he says things got ugly, and then violent. The beatings, some leading to serious injuries and scars, he finds hard to forget. I had multiple injuries. My back had just been like riddled with the baton. I must have had like a dozen strikes on my body. My elbows were just swollen. I got hit in the ankles. My forearm had had a lash on it. Obviously, my head, I had four stitches there. Now, one of the officers was convicted. Edgardo Diaz Rodriguez was sentenced to 12 months probation and put on administrative leave for five years, getting his full salary. The other officer involved has since left the force. Now, this isn't the end of things for neither the victim nor the transit police. There's now a civil suit underway, and both the victim and his lawyer says racial profiling may have played a role in the assault. Uh, and we're hoping to pursue this case uh, by way of a jury trial because I think um, uh, people within our community here in Canada uh, will see this case for what it really is all about, uh, which is a young man, uh, and the fact is he comes from a colored background, um, was approached by the police, um, you know, at most should have been given a ticket, but instead was beat viciously. TransLink were contacted multiple times by the CBC, but were not available for comment. Angela Sterrett, CBC News, Vancouver.